Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellin. Today we're going to revisit episode 578. This is where we were trying to put a whole bunch of words together into a single cell without having to build a concatenation formula. I'm Jonathan from the UK wrote in and said, hey, I know you don't like to cover VBA in the podcast, but this quick user-defined function would really be the, the way to go. So I'm going to take advantage of Jonathan's email here and just point out that my book, VBA and Macros for Microsoft Excel, is now out for Excel 2007. This is a, basically the same book that we had for Excel 2003, along with the new features that are new in 2007. So if you've upgraded to 2007 or are thinking about upgrading, um, certainly go ahead and get that. Sorting has changed, the new pivot tables, data visualizations, we covered those items in Excel 2007. And again, the book is designed for someone who knows Excel very, very well but wants to get up the VBA learning curve. Maybe you recorded a few macros, maybe they worked, they probably didn't work. The book will tell you how to get around that. So Jonathan said, uh, you know, rather than trying to go out to Notepad, which is what I actually did here in episode 578, it'd be much easier just to have a custom function to put these words together. So what we'll do is we'll hit Alt F11, that'll take us to the VBA editor. We're going to use Insert Module to add a little bit of little module. Um, Jonathan sent me the code, it's for concatenate range. Basically we'll use that function concatenate range and we'll pass it any range of data. Now what I'll have to do is I'll have to put the code for this in the blog entry. So if you go to MrExcel.com and click on podcast in the left side you'll be able to get to the blog where you could actually copy this code from the blog into the worksheet and then what we're going to do is we're going to use the concatenate range formula. So now we can just use equal concatenate range and give it the whole range of data that we want to concatenate, closing parentheses, and it puts everything together with a space. Much easier than going out to Notepad, um, clearly a great way to go. Now, you know, in almost 500 episodes of the podcast, I've probably only switched over into VBA maybe two or three times because my contention is that it's much harder to try and explain VBA in a two-minute podcast. You can tell that we're already up to probably about three minutes today. But it is amazing what you can do with Excel VBA. Most of the people who hang out at MrExcel.com are there. They're VBA fans. I'm certainly a VBA fan. Um, a lot of power that you can use in VBA. So even though I don't talk about it in the podcast a lot, it's really worth your while to learn VBA. And there's sometimes when you just have a problem in Excel where it is so much easier to knock out a couple lines of code that completely solves the problem, as in this case. So thanks to Jonathan from the UK. I'll be sending him one of my Excel master pins for this great suggestion. And thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.